bleak, ominous dawn greeted the vast armada standing off the shores of Iwo Jima in February 1945. For two months, ships and planes of our fleet have constantly pounded this enemy stronghold, preparing it for invasion. Swinging off the transport decks, the 4th and 5th Divisions of the United States Marines headed for the beaches. Gaining a foothold on the black sand, they moved in, engaging in one of the most violent, savage battles in the history of the Corps. On the fifth day of battle, a small group of men from Combat Team 28 scaled the heights of Mount Suribachi and there planted the Stars and Stripes. Of the men who fought there, Admiral Nimitz said, among the Americans who served on Iwo Island, uncommon valor was a common virtue. A single photograph told this story. Born of battle, it fired the imagination of all America, for it expressed the unity drive and determination of the people, a symbol of American courage. Inspired by the wire photo, the noted sculptor, Felix de Weldon, then serving in the Navy, began work immediately. He completed a small model within 48 hours after the photograph had reached the United States. The great moment was recorded in clay. But this was only the first of many models. The 176th anniversary of the Marine Corps signaled the unveiling of the historic incident carved from stone. Almighty and eternal God, we invoke thy divine presence here among us that we may dedicate this statue to the memory of men who have died for our country and that we may rededicate our lives to the ideals and principles of our country and its freedoms, and consecrate our lives to its service, and to thee, our Lord. Amen. For this statue, de Weldon was able to use living models. Three of the men who had actually raised the flag, the others had given their lives for that country. This stone memorial stands at the entrance of the Marine Corps base at Quantico, Virginia. This was a great achievement, but de Weldon was not satisfied. Carefully, he measured his model. Inspired, he sought to give it a sweeping magnitude. He envisioned a monument which would preserve and encompass the spirit and thrill the heart of the nation. He visualized a gigantic memorial which would rise to majestic heights commemorating forever the unsurpassed gallantry of the Marines and the Navy corpsmen who raised the flag. It would be the spirit of all Marines from Tripoli and Chapultepec, from Bellow Woods, and back across the Pacific from Wake Island to Japan. A memorial to the heroic gallantry of all our fighting men. One to leave no doubt in the minds of our enemies that we are determined to keep our freedom. Here was a challenge. As the years passed, this towering memorial took on form and expression. The feel, the drive, the thrust and power of the smaller statue was achieved in one 64 times greater. The challenge was met. Now the heroic group was finished. Molded in plaster, it was ready to be cast in bronze. Authorized by the unanimous vote of Congress, this memorial is made possible by donations of the people, by former Marines, the fathers and mothers of our fallen comrades, friends of the Corps, and men of the Navy and Marine Corps themselves. It would be the spirit of all the people of the United States, a symbol of all America for all time. The six men who raised the flag were typical Americans. There are their faces. Private First Class Ira Hayes, USMC. Pharmacist Mate Second Class John Bradley, 
USN. Corporal Rene Gagnon, USMC. Sergeant Michael Strength, USMC. Private First Class Franklin Sosley, USMC. Corporal Harlan Block, USMC. An original American, a Pima Indian from the broad plains of Arizona, a student from the dairy lands of Wisconsin, a mill worker from the hills of New Hampshire, a son of Czechoslovakian immigrants, a professional marine from the Allegheny Mountains of Pennsylvania, a war worker from the fertile tobacco lands of Kentucky, and a truck driver from the rich oil fields of southern Texas. The oldest was 25, the youngest 19. Five were marines, one a sailor. great moment lives, an eternal shrine to valor. In this memorial lives again the courageous spirit which makes America great. In it is the relentless determination of the American people to defend democracy against those who would destroy it. This inspired monument is a tribute to the indomitable courage of our fighting men and a manifestation of their faith in America. This really happened, one of the most dramatic incidents of any war, vibrant, perpetuated in bronze in our nation's capital, enduring for posterity. This is you. And you. And you. Silent, yet it will speak. Speak a universal tongue of the past, the present, and for the future. A symbol of a great nation, a symbol of a great people. Uncommon valor, a common virtue.